Hi, this is Toby and welcome to my epiphyllum cuttings update. Now, some of these cuttings such as those are grown in my how to grow epiphyllum from cutting videos. And if you want to see that video, I'll link in the description below. But I think I'm just going to do another update this year about, well, this season, I should say, about my epiphyllums. Right now it's spring. I've repotted my Pegasus. The ones that were in those videos, they're growing really nicely. You can see buds are everywhere. This is the how to this is how to rejuvenate epiphyllum video this one and this one is also growing really nicely now i'm going to fertilize these epiphyllums i've never fertilized them before but i think it should be okay with them although they don't need much and i don't fertilize my cacti but because i am growing these for the flowers and not really for the compact form because these these have really showy flowers and i don't think usually grow epiphyllum for their actual forms but you grow them for the flowers so i think i'm going to fertilize them just to help them along with flowering a bit so i'll get some fertilizer and fertilize them so i've just fertilized them you hope you can see the pellets in the soil with some of this osmocote cacti succulent fertilizer not too heavily i don't know how many times i'm going to fertilize probably only once or twice because again i don't want to push these guys too hard if you're wondering why they have a reddish hue right now it's because during winter when it's cold they will go a bit red when it's really cold and dry but because it's spring and it's warming up they're starting to grow now i'll just quickly show you some of the new growth that i have noticed especially on this plant you can see when the aerials start to become very fuzzy and stuff start to poke out my camera will focus i hope you can see that when stuff starts to poke out of the aerials that's when you can notice new growth it's happened on a lot of my epiphyllums um not on the guatemalense for some reason, but hopefully that will grow a bit better. I might even take some more cuttings off this plant. But looking very promising this season. So yeah. So here's another epiphyllum update. You can see I still have some buds staying on. The ones that are this big are probably going to stay on. These ones, not sure. But if you see any bud that's kind of small and red, kind of like that. They're probably just going to fall off. You can see if you touch them, they kind of come off. Same with those. You can see those have already dried up. So they can be just knocked off very easily. Same with that one. But once they kind of reach this stage, they don't usually tend to fall off. You can see a lot of them have actually reached this stage. So I'm quite impressed that we do have a lot of buds. And we'll see how many blooms we actually get this season. This looks very promising. So here's another update of the Epiphyllum buds. I've got one that will most likely open tonight because you can see it's very large and it's swollen. The other ones are still packed close like that. My Pegasus bud also doing really well. I think it's going to grow a bit bigger before it does open. Um, the plant again is still quite small, but it's managed to sustain that bud, so that's pretty pretty good. This one is also quite small. Um, bud hasn't really opened yet, but. I'm pretty sure tonight we can see it's open. You can see it's already partially open. Um, initially I thought they were all gonna open at the same time, but it looks like they're not. But yeah. So it's at night and I just have the lights on, but you can see the flower has opened. It hasn't really opened fully, but by next morning it should be fully opened. And if you have experience with epiphyllums, the white ones, the natural ones they're usually white flowered or cream flowered and they only last for a night which is a bit unfortunate and those i mean like the epiphyllum oxypetalum and my guatemalense here their flowers only last for one night these hybrids and cultivars they can actually last for a few days so you can actually enjoy the flowers a bit longer so you can see it's the next morning flowers so blooming it's very windy so that's why i didn't record a time lapse yesterday it's been windy for the past few days um i think this is gonna open and that's also gonna open so more flowers gonna be coming soon so you can see two more flower buds have opened i know it's a bit dark the one that opened yesterday it was very windy and some of the petals did dry out a bit but the flower is still open they do open for a few days got two more so that's really nice it's also quite cold tonight and it was quite cold yesterday night as well so it's the next morning this bloom is obviously still here 
The other two looking good. Um, I think the winds stopped today and they're not going to get crispy like this one. You can see they do last for a few days. I think the Pegasus looks a bit bigger. It might actually open today as well. So it's another night. We have more blooms. Only one bud is closed. All the other blooms are open. So I'm going to quickly see what there is. The pink one I have here, they're all blooming. I have my Pegasus finally in bloom. It's not fully open yet because this flower can get really big. So this is the Pegasus. You can see really nice. It's a bit hard to see because it's dark. I'll show you a better view next morning, but you can see nice red color. Now I have this one open and it's supposed to be a variety called Crown Prince. I'll show you the tag. This is when I bought it. The flower, it does match the tag, but to me, it looks the same as my other one. Could I tell you this flower is significantly different other than the pale petals? Probably not, but there's a really easy experiment I'm going to do. And one thing that I'm assuming is that these epiphytes are self-sterile, which means that if they're from the same plant, they will not, they will not set seed. And we can quickly test that theory with the flowers from this plant. So obviously these are from the same plant. And what I'm going to quickly do is get some pollen. Just with a Q-tip, get some pollen. And I am going to pollinate the flowers on this plant. I think I might even get a paintbrush because I don't think the Q-tip's picking up a lot of pollen. But I'll see if I can get some pollen onto the Q-tip. And then just pollinate the flower just pollinate the flowers on the same plant and if that doesn't set seed that means it's self sterile so the next step is I'm going to get some more pollen from this plant and then pollinate this plant with it And see what happens if this does not set seed then that means theoretically they are genetically identical i am also going to pollinate my pegasus um i don't know if the stigma is actually matured yet it's still closed but i think it will open next morning let me just check my other epiphyllums i don't know what happened with the stigma on this one but they do seem to open up so i think i will pollinate that one next morning um, but just in case, I'm going to do a quick pollination now and we can do it again next morning. So just get some pollen and I'm going to just put it in there, see if I can reach it. We'll do it again next morning and we'll see if it sets seed. So it's the next morning, they're still out, very nice. A little bee doing some pollination work here. Um, I will pollinate it as well after the bee's gone, but it ha another bee has also gone around the entire set of flowers already. So I'm pretty sure there's been a bit of cross pollination already done by the bees. But again, I just want to make sure I do get some seed. I'm going to cross these two. Um, you can see the stigma is open. So I'm going to just use the Q-tip and rub it. And the bees kind of got the pollen everywhere. So I'm going to just pick it up. On the bottom of this flower, kind of put it on the stigma there. Get a bit more. Again, the bees have already done this, so this is just for precautionary measures because I do want to get some seed. Now, with the Pegasus, let's get some pollen, put it in there. a bit more pollen I need a better tip or tool than a q-tip brush is probably better but I think that should do if it's gonna pollinate um, I might do it with the brush as well another way I quickly just did it was pulled one of the anthers out of here because I have a lot of anthers and rubbed it on the stigma of the other one that also works um but you can see lots of good flowers the Pegasus is pretty much fully open I'll show you the size 
it's a lot bigger than my hand and that is typical of this cultivar the flowers are meant to be very large let's see if i can stand back and show you the flower that flower compared to the others you can see it's significantly larger that's really good i am going to propagate more of this and get rid of these two sections and take them as cuttings anyways one more bloom to go i think it will open tonight and we're gonna have all of the epiphytums open and then you can enjoy it for a few days before they all start to wilt here's another update the final flower has opened the first one has closed so unfortunately i didn't get all eight of them to bloom at the same time but i almost did i know they're all pink varieties again i do have to get more variety in colors my white ones didn't bloom this season and i thought they'd be different pinks but maybe they aren't so i will get some more colors next time again i'm very happy with the pegasus bloom just look at the size Here's an epiphytum update. All of the flowers have wilted. Um, so far, by the looks of it, everything's producing fruit, even the ones I didn't pollinate. So what that means is the bees probably went around all the flowers and did the pollination. So the little experiment I plan on doing, it probably isn't gonna work because the bees kind of pollinate everything. I'm not complaining. If we do get a lot of fruit, I'll still get seeds that I'll sow, but I think it should, be fruit forming you can see it hasn't died all the way back the flower and this part is still quite firm when i put my finger on it same with the pegasus you can see there's a clear line there between the dead part and the living part so we'll see what happens even with this that is a that is happening so i think we'll get a lot of fruit here's a final update of the epiphyllum on all of the flowers, I think the fruit is developing. I actually pulled the flower tip off of this one. The, the stigma was still intact, but I think it should be fine. It's quite firm. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off. That's what the fruit would eventually look like. My Pegasus, nice fruit for me over there. Let's see if I can get it in the sunlight. There we go. Even this one, I don't think this was because I pollinated I still think it's the bees because every morning, when the flowers are open, I would see a lot of bees just come around and kind of just collect pollen from each of the flowers. So I think the bees did most of the work and not me. But anyways, we do have some fruit forming and when they ripen, I will make a separate video on me harvesting them and seeing what the seeds look like. This is the first time I'm getting epiphyllum seeds from my own plants. I will have to fertilize these plants a bit, I think. I have been watering them quite regularly and they're not plumping up as quickly they must be very exhausted from all all those flowers so i think it's a good time to feed them a bit let them grow a bit more before they go dormant in winter but anyways i hope you enjoyed this update of my epiphyllums you can see that in two years if you take good care of them they can bloom for you from just a cutting so i do recommend growing these yourself i think it's a very interesting cactus it's got oh, very nice blooms there's a whole bunch of colors you can get other than just the plain white ones, you can see the ones with color actually last a bit longer than those. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will check them. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.